Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and iOS 12 Beta 5 has been out for a few days. I've been using it on my iPhone 10 and the iPhone SE and 7 Plus. We'll talk about those in a moment. And it's been okay, but there has been more bugs for me this time around. I think Beta 3 was more stable than Beta 4 or 5 in my case. Now on my iPhone 10, uh, the battery has actually improved some, although it only says screen on time is 1 hour 51 minutes. I'm not so sure that's accurate. If we go over the last 10 days, you'll see it's 3 hours now. And one of the bugs I have is when I go in here and wait for this to load, sometimes it doesn't load. I actually have to reboot to get this to load. Now my battery health is still 100% and everything's looking good there. Now I did have some issues with respring, so that means maybe I'd go into the app store, do something, go into settings, and the whole thing would just go black and then reboot with a little spinning wheel and then come back up. So that's kind of normal for this particular beta, unfortunately, but uh, right now it seems to be okay for some of you. Now I ran a poll on the YouTube community page and you had a lot to say and I went over every one of them and actually put them in a graph to show you how they compare. You'll see we have 201 comments, 50% of you said it was great, 10% said terrible, and 40% said okay but some bugs. Now for those of you on the iPhone SE, a lot of you said that the iPhone SE was actually really good, had no problem running games or anything like that, everything was running nice and fast for the most part, and really the SE people were saying they saw improvements most of the time. So things were working really well for people if you're playing games like this for example. You'll see it works really quickly, there's no issues there, you can scroll nicely, and I think there's a good speed improvement here that people were concerned about, so that one is good. Now as far as the iPhone 7 Plus, a lot of you said that this was really great, and I have Fortnite on this one, but a lot of you said that the overall experience of iOS 12 Beta 5 was great on the 7 Plus. And of course I have an error right now, but the 7 Plus has been overall very stable for most of you. I found that many of you have said that the 8, 8 Plus, and 10 were the ones with the most bugs this time around. So overall it's been pretty good. So I've been continuing to try that out in different devices. I know a lot of you want me to try out different devices. I don't have all of those devices necessarily on hand all the time and I can't possibly test them. So let me know which ones you'd like to see next in the comments below. Now as far as what you had to say, let's scroll down all the way here. Now I've gone through every one of these comments and many of you have said that it's great and the ones that have had bugs is mostly on the newer devices with resprings. So you'll see terrible iPad mini 2 dies overnight, also having horrible battery life on iPhone 10 as well. Planning to try reinstalling, I don't think that's going to help it, that's just kind of the way it is. Uh, battery better than iOS 11.4.1, loving iOS 12 so far, just random resprings and that's what I was talking about and I actually know who this person is and they're using an iPhone 10. Uh, still having resprings when watching video on 6 Plus, although I haven't had as many people saying there were resprings on the older devices. Battery life is terrible on the 6S, and I think that's what I see the most of, is battery is not great for everybody, but the overall experience is good iPhone 10 and iPad Pro 10.5, there's a weird bug with AirPods. When, you, when you're playing music and you remove one AirPod, then put it back in, the music does not play automatically. Battery life is still ba slightly better on both of my devices. The podcast app still is slow in bringing it to the foreground. So this just depends on what device you have, what you're using, your situation. There's so many different scenarios, but you'll see how many great there are. Some bugs. I don't have an iPhone, but I always vote, okay, let's move on here. I have an iPhone 5S and it's a little buggy, but performance seems to have improved. And that's what I'm seeing the most is a lot of people say performance is really good on iOS 12 and just getting better. Great on my iPhone 10, no problems. I'm using 5S and the battery is worse in beta 5, but performance has been great. Some animation issues, battery life is not as good, some apps are not optimized to be expected, 8 Plus and iPad 6th Gen. Like I said, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, that's where the ones, uh, those are the ones with the most issues, I think iPhone 7 plus beta 4 was great with good battery life, beta 5 happens to be quite the opposite, although performance people are just saying it's really good. iPhone 10 had a weird issue with persistent message notifications that went away after a restart. I find that I have to restart my iPhone 10 probably once every couple days. Now I used to have to start it once every day with beta 4. I had one springboard crash and sometimes Apple Music doesn't play songs when headphones are connected and Apple did warn that there's Bluetooth issues with this particular update. Now I would expect another update maybe in a week if they're going to the weekly cycle or it's going to be two weeks. We're not sure at this point. Same issues as before, Bluetooth to my truck is hit or miss. We know about that one. 
7 plus sometimes scream not responsive in app store lags seems good so far on 8 plus on 6s plus have noticed some cellular issues with call failure alerts with calls disconnected random i'm wondering if you're using t-mobile on wi-fi calling because there is an issue i don't like apple okay well i appreciate the comment I'm, I'm not using it so i hit good anyway i voted great but battery is pretty bad i'm curious what device that is great beta real stable no crashes battery could be better iphone plus user not sure which plus but that's good battery drained faster scroll up a little bit more okay but some bugs running the latest build on iphone 10 and have been experiencing random phone crashes and rebooting especially when using iMessage. that can be annoying Had that more on beta 4 great on iphone 6s and this is way better than beta 4 beta 4 is terrible let's look at a couple more the battery seems to be draining really fast on my iphone 7 plus works fine except for touch id is a bit slower and not responsive i haven't had that thankfully the great the best beta yet haven't run into any issues on the 7 plus and like i said that's what i've been finding so far so take a look at this chart and see what you think as far as all of the different things uh, that people are experiencing let me know what you think in the comments below and if you'd like to see more videos like this maybe outside let me know what you think about that in the comments below as well if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and like as always thanks for watching i'll see you next time